Hey y'all, it's Andy at Muscle in the Mountains and we are here at Rowan Neath the Rhone in Buildeen checking out some of these great rides. I believe this might be Johnny's car. I believe, I believe. We got some cool stuff. Check out this square body GMC. Very nice. Gorgeous Corvette convertible. I'm guessing that's about a 66, maybe? No. 64, I would say. What is that? Is that 64? A good looking car. Very nice Corvette. So y'all here is a rare sighting. How you bro? How you doing, buddy? Good. How are you? Good. 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 So this is my buddy Colin. Colin, I was starting to think was actually just a part of the metaverse um, because I didn't know if he was for real a human being or not. But <laughs> fair enough. But he is here. I am. All right. Well, it's, I got out of the shop. Weird. <laughs> this is the car running. It's running. It's at a friend's shop today. Okay. So it's getting gears and stuff in the back of it. Right. So I'm gonna see if we can get Colin to uh, walk around with us a little bit. Maybe maybe talk about some cars. You want to sure. do that? Yeah, we can. Awesome. Awesome. All right. So we got a correction. This is not a '64. It's a '63 Corvette. Which, when they're convertibles, I can't tell the difference. I between a three and a four. Personally, for me, I'm like. I look at it and I'm, I'm like, I know it's one of the, those generations. Right. I'm like, it's between 63 and 67 yeah. for sure. Yeah, it's one of those. <laughs> All right, so as you guys can tell, I've got my buddy Colin here with me. We're going to um, kind of walk around and talk about the cars, and somebody has stolen the engine. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and of course, this is a Corvair. Those that would cool be the, uh, yeah. I love um, one of our buddies has got a, uh, a gasser. Corvair, oh, yeah. of course, uh, it's not Danny got Casey. the rear. Yep, yeah, that's him. Has, I don't know what motors in it, it's, and it's a cool little car. Yeah, it's massive. It's awesome. So got that interior. That's so we got cute. houndstooth going on. That's pretty neat. Pretty neat. What was the uh, old article or documentary about these dangerous and any speed or whatever it was that they were trying to? Because the government was trying to prove that these were dangerous. Oh really? Or whatever and. That one guy basically drove it and did like slow him at like 60 miles an hour and it was totally fine. Oh wow. Cool. Alright, so check out this Nova. So we got fender gills going on. And 70. That's cool. Yeah, 70 tail lights. Actually Colin is one of the people that I learned the uh, Nova tail lights from. Because I learned it from my dad. Yeah. Because he has a 72 and had 73 and one and <laughs> oh wow that's awesome so so guys if you have not checked out the daily misfire yet that's colin's channel that's um cool. it's it's really really awesome so what you need to do finish this video to the end and then we will have a link in the description to colin's channel so go check out the daily misfire for sure subscribe to him and you know check out some of those videos he's got some great stuff um some good drag racing uh stuff going on so you're going to be going to drag week yep now what what's that like so i've never been personally but drag week in of itself is a five-day event and it's put on by hot rod magazine they've been doing it oh, wow. I think, for almost 20 years now okay um but it's basically a thousand mile road trip with drag cars <laughs> and over those what could go wrong <laughs> right and you're every single day in the five days you're racing at a different track oh wow so you you race at a track and then you drive to the next track and you race the next day and then the final day they have for the class i'm gonna be running is bracket racing in the last day so okay a street machine eliminator cool but there's cars um if you look up uh like tom bailey alex taylor there's gonna be cars running the sixes over 200 miles an hour oh wow mike finnegan will be there with the blasphemy Oh, wow. Um, it'll be pretty cool. Yeah. And then there'll be me with my little, hopefully, 12-second Nova. <laughs> That's a very cool Nova. 
Um, so this is a 72 El Camino, correct? I think so, yeah. 454. Which was 450, 454 was not an option 72, was it? I thought they were. Okay. I think they were in 71 and 2, I think. Wow. Looks pretty awesome. During the whole high horsepower era. Very cool. I dig this truck. Yeah, definitely. So check out the thoroughly um, clean, finished engine compartment. You know, you got lots of aluminum and and stuff going on, and then you got the patina finish outside. What's your take on that that combo? You this like exact, that? This is exactly how I build stuff. You make yeah. everything underneath super super clean, and right. We, I can't afford paint, so there you go. You just run it. <laughs> you can tell it has exhaust. They they did the five lug swap on it already, and yeah, these are cool little trucks. Yeah, that's nice. I like the rings. Yeah. It looks like they've matched the at least this side of the bed because the inside of it's green. Check out the shifter. Yeah, that's cool. This is totally how I build one of these trucks. Yeah, that's awesome. We like it. I mean, look at this. This really tells the story. You know, you see the paint out here, and then look in those vents right there. Yeah. You know, you got. There's not there yet. That's awesome. Yeah. Pretty tough. Beetle going on with this late sixties. Uh, yeah. Got the cool windows pop out. Of course, I have windows very similar to that on my 75 Ford pickup <laughs> in the back. That's funny on the brakes. What's that? Look at the room. Oh, wow. <laughs> very cool. Cool Beetle. All right, 68 Mustang. Little coupe car. Yeah. Automatic Mustang Coupe 68. 289, 302, one of those. Right. Good looking car. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. This one, super little air cleaner. I see a 68 Chevelle. Yeah. So this actually has the black underneath, like, didn't, did all of them come that way originally? I know a lot of people painted them one color now, but. Oh, under there? Yeah, the 68s. I'm not sure. I don't know. Black honestly. under the trim. Love the wheels. Original. Rallies are cool. Rallies. Red interior. Manual. Uh, four or five speed. Four speed. Four speed 396. Yeah. SS 396 on the actual door panel. Look at that. That's, That's cool. some deluxe interior there. Yeah, looking, you know, with the, see how the, yeah. the door handle over there has the metal behind it? Yeah, this is gorgeous. That's cool. So, you know, wife has a 69 Chevelle, loves 69 Chevelles, but the metal grill on the 68 is just really cool. Yeah. I, I like metal grills for everything. Right. The only one that I don't, or I, I like, is the egg crate grill, like 72 C10s. Yeah. I don't know why I like that one so much, but no, so, the metal grills are cool. Easiest way to tell the difference on 68, 69 Chevelles, that metal grill for a 68, and of course the vent windows Yeah. on the 68. The 69 didn't have the vent windows. Yeah, they started doing away with vent windows for... Basically everything. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, 442 that is go. for sale. Check this out, this. fellas. 67 Olds 442. There's phone number. There's no price, so it means I can't afford it. Right? <laughs> yeah. If you have to ask, you can't afford it, right? Yep. So, I love the vinyl top on this. It's a manual car, right? As long as you got a good place to put it, a vinyl top is awesome. Yeah. Hearse cool. equipped, 442, 1967. Is that American Racing Wheels? Yep, but you might know more than me, but just because it's a 442 doesn't necessarily mean it's a big block car, correct? Correct. Um, I don't think so. Now this one, they've had the hood open, but- I'm not gonna touch not it. Not currently, I'm not gonna touch it either, yeah. <laughs> hey, another 68 Chevelle. Big block car. Yes, sir. 
Now that's awesome right there. 425 that horse, 396. That's mostly original. Yeah, it looks like. AC car too, that's cool. Craigers. Craigers going on, yeah. Vinyl top. Automatic on the column. So, the seats. Bench seat. Yeah. That's a cool option. That's nice. I didn't know that they made a... Ten Commandments on the front. That's cool. I didn't know they made a Chevelle with a bucket seat or bench seat in the SS cars. Um, I don't think they did. Okay, so that might be a... Um, so it's... It's either a clone. Right. Or, or someone put a bench seat in the right. SS car. Now, yeah. <laughs> but I love those SS badges. Those are, those are cool. Really cool. They look very authentic. I don't think so, I've seen all that many of these. <laughs> so I'm not real familiar with AMXs. Um, a friend of mine has an AMX Hornet, which is up in the 70s, a little bit yeah. different than this one. One of my buddies has a bunch of these too. He has a Javelin and... I love the Javelins. 69. So this is 69, yeah. Very cool car. So four speed, I think. 390. Which is not an FE motor, that's their own design. Very cool car. It is. I think we saw this car at Poplar. Hey. Very nice. Yeah, so have you seen this car before? I have not. Okay, this is a great, great super deluxe. Um, this man here is at more car shows than anybody i mean this car he he's he's somewhere every weekend ain't that right brother you you are at more car shows than i am that's right and you do a good job brother good to see you again that's cool isn't that great i love the silver flames yeah that's cool it's old school yeah but yeah he, he is everywhere and i love that's it awesome all right so check out this ford this is one of my favorite body styles of ford um, like 67 to 70 range in there. I think it's 72, three, yeah. Right. It's a 68? 70. Okay. I'll, I like the liner. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, that's uh, actually, that's about the only thing you can get that it's sealed. That thing. All right. So I have a 75 Ranger F 150 um, with the extended cab. Okay, awesome. These are beautiful trucks. Yours yeah. looks fantastic. Oh, looks awesome. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. You don't you just clap on at them. <laughs> right. My father-in-law has a 70 that's a flatbed dually. 390. They're awesome. Is it? Awesome. That's looks good, cool. brother. The car gives me PTSD. <laughs> I worked on that. I don't know if you saw it. I had a 72 that was in the shop. It was F100. Uh -huh. So everyone, food for thought. If you want to put a small block Ford in a 70, 67 to 72, uh -huh. make sure it's not a four wheel drive, four speed car. Okay. Because they never did it. Ah. Uh -huh. And it's a lot of work. Wow. Because the way the front drive shaft comes up and I mean, there's like almost no room for an exhaust on that one side. And, now on the other side, I know how to do it, so maybe. <laughs> right. So, people that do this pinstriping blow my mind. It's so I could, I really, I think I could do something really cool on one side, <laughs> and then the other <laughs> side would look nothing like it. Yeah. And how they match that up so perfectly blows my mind to do yeah. the two sides. And they do it freehand. Yeah. Most of the time it's yeah. not even like, they don't have stencils or anything. And usually they don't even have a place to like set their pinky down, you no, know, to, just... to stabilize your hand, you know. I mean, sometimes they will, but um, there's a guy that comes to Poplar, the yeah. Poplar Car Show, and does pinstriping there. That's cool. Yeah, it's awesome. One of, uh, we had a family friend, he passed away now, but he was, it's funny. So, so this dude loved his wine. He drank excessively, but. That's All like, right, tell me that again. Okay. <laughs> you wouldn't expect. No. All right. So, so this dude, so it was a family friend of ours, and he drank excessively. Goofy guy. <laughs> I mean, I mean yeah. but his hand would shake like, you know, 
uh -huh. even, like like paint shaker, paint mixer, right. or something like that. <laughs> and he gets right up on the car with a brush and just wow. perfectly straight line. It was like that's great. All the stuff he did was beautiful work. All right, so tell me what year is the Stingray? I have no idea. Okay, it's seventies, right? Well, it has to be between sixty-eight and seventy-two. Yeah, because both bumpers are chrome. Okay. So after seventy-two, they started losing the chrome bumpers. Okay. One at a time. <laughs> One at a time. Yeah, so they, they lost the front bumper first and then the rear bumper the next year. Okay. But this uh, this is, you know, I'm sure there's people right now that are watching this and going, these guys don't know anything. No, I don't know anything. You're right. And, and so <laughs> uh, they right. probably know exactly <laughs> what year this is. Um, but, you know, it is somewhere between 68 and 72. All right. One of my favorite cars I have just spotted right here. This is Dave cool. Griffith's 1956 Thunderbird. That's cool. This car is in our volume one of Muscle in the Mountains magazine. If this is the car I'm thinking it is, because it looks like it. Is it a tri-Y car? Or the... I don't know. That's what they call it, right? The two, was it 292? What was the V8 niece, the early V8? This one's like a 318, is it? I think something? so. I think so. Maybe we'll see Dave around here somewhere. This is definitely a 56, and it looks just like his, so I'm assuming it's his because I didn't know that anybody else would have one around here just like this. <laughs> but it's awesome. It's gorgeous. They did a great job on the black. Oh, it's fantastic. Good looking Chevy pickup. What is that, a 50? I think so. Ish? Yeah, ish. Give or take a year or two. Right? Now, I love these trucks, and you'll see a lot of these around here. I love it. Yeah. This, 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 is, this is true to our roots right here. It's a pre-1980 one. Yeah. That's all I can. Love the bed. <laughs> it's awesome. Good looking pickup. I think that one's a 74 Good looking five. pickup. I'd say it's a 74 or 5, but it's probably like a 6 or 7. Right. Studebaker Service. With a Nissan. On the side. Z motor in it. Oh my goodness. Now that is quite a conglomerate. That's cool. Hey, Ray. Hey, good. Is this yours? Awesome. Awesome. This is really cool. Yeah. That's great. Look at this shirt. Man, now that's a good looking shirt, Dave. Yeah. We, we were just videoing your car over here just a minute ago. Oh, there you go. Good looking jacket. I didn't make that one. That's okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Good looking Corvette. You said it's C6? C6 Corvette, I am so Corvette illiterate, I'm sorry. But it's a gorgeous car. I like the silver Ultimate. on the black. Yeah. That's Ultimate cool. Ultimate driver cars. Yeah. All right. Gorgeous Chevy 2 68 Nova. 69, right? 68. 68. Yeah. So 68's last one with Chevy 2 on yeah. the hood. Um, good looking car. It'll have the, the um, uh, backup lights beside yeah. the, the tail light. Instead of in the middle. Big black car. See there? Isn't that awesome? Love the original wheels. Good looking Nova. Is that yours? I see it all over and I love it. I love it because it's the only 68 around. There's lots of 970s, 71 2. Yeah, it's the only 68 I ever see is this one and I love it. Have you seen the channel? The original Lightning, right? Yep. That's awesome. Paul Walker made these cool. Right. First Fast and Furious movie. Cool looking truck. That's cool. All right, Love check this. out this gorgeous, gorgeous ride right here. 57. Yep. So nice. Cool four door. 57 four door. Yeah, great driver car. It would. With a blue engine. Oh, yeah. 283. Everything's blue. I love it. Gorgeous. My guess American is Racing Wheels. Is it? That's, that'd yeah. be my Very guess. Nice. Yeah, it has power pack heads on it, so. Cool. 
cool, cool. has non accessory bolt holes on the, on the cylinder head, so that, that makes it old. Wow, Country Squire. So, single headlights, so it's before 58. I, paint? Yeah. I think so. Thunderbird valve covers. This is a cool ride right here. Man, check out the instrument panel. They had such cool dashes in the 50s. Okay. You know? Yeah. That's awesome. I yeah, love it. It's probably a 55 or 6. Country Squire. Yeah, right? I would say so. 55 They're or 6. They're cool little cars. I love wagons. And I like these wheels on it. I know. Very cool. Yeah, wagons are getting very popular. Nope. Baby, let's get right, we got another Nova with a 400 engine. Wow. She got these tail lights. 70. It's got a two barrel on it. I love, I love when they keep these wheels on them. Yeah. On these Novas. The steel wheels. Yeah. That's awesome. Cool ride. All right, Impala. Wonder, wonder Sixty-two. Yeah. Is that three forty-eight or four hundred nine? Sixty-one, maybe. Sixty-one or two. Sixty-one. Sixty-one. Bubble top. That's nice. Cool. Good job. Very nice. Good job. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous Impala. So 1961. So I always look for this, this curve right here. So 61 and two have that curve, but the top is a little bit different on the 62. Yeah, these are beautiful. That is beautiful. And, and what was the engine? This is a 348. 348, wow. Wedge motor. Oh uh, yeah. This is the precursor to the big block Chevy. Okay. It has a different uh, angle. The piston angle is different on these than any other. Okay. It's a little bit wider. It's kind of like the 401 nail heads and the early Pontiac right. motors and stuff back in the day. It's a beautiful car. Yeah. It's such a great design in those early Impalas. I just love the angle and stuff yeah. on them. Yeah. So this is and, a bucket list car. <laughs> oh, man. All right, so what we got here? It's a fair 66 lane. Fairlane. 66 Fairlane. I love these. I love the stacked headlights. I love and, the ornament, the, the grill in the center. Yeah, so that ornament is 66. The one that's not round, that is kind of, I don't know what shape you would call it, yeah. but it's kind of an upside down pyramid, <laughs> triangle-ish. Okay. Right. Um, that's the 67, but otherwise they look about the same. The small block. Good looking. 66 Fairlane 500. Very nice. Very nice. I like the wood grain on the door panels. The Magnum 500 wheels. Very original. That's awesome. Good looking car. So we got another Ford 68 to 72. Yeah. Big block. 390. This looks a lot like Danny's car. Danny's truck. Hey, you all right, John? Nice. Isn't that gorgeous? It's so funny. All these Ford trucks smell the same. They what? They all smell the same. Oh, really? This is awesome. Good looking like truck. Ranger XLT. I love the two tone paint on these when they have the. I like the red, white, and blue. Oh, yeah, that's XLT. beautiful. That's really cool. No, the three tone's really cool. Mm hmm. Yeah. And you got the, so with the XLT, I guess, you get the wood grain in the Yeah, I guess so. I've never seen that trim. before. That's cool. Yeah, that, that's, this is probably as high end as you could get on one of these, wouldn't you think? I would think so. It even has AC too, right? Yep. Yeah, AC, power steering, big block truck. That's, yeah, that's awesome. That is the pinnacle of right. a F-150 back in the day. Okay, so I've seen this build before. Actually, this one was here last year and it was at Burnsville. Okay. Um, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous Ford. I love the, check out the running board. 
Yeah, that's cool. Isn't that nice? And this interior is what blows my mind every time I see this truck. Oh, wow. I just love what they've done inside this thing. They spent a lot of time on that. Yeah, it looks comfortable. It does. It's got nice wood grain in the bed. Rack and pinion suspension. I wonder if it's on a uh, chassis. Isn't that nice? It's super clean. 54 model. And no, I didn't know that. It's on the tag. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I could have told you it was, you know, early 50s, but that's, yeah, about, that's about as good as I, I could have done. But yeah. So I always love in these early 50, 40s and 50s, uh, how the pedals are on the opposite sides of the steering column. Oh, wow. Because of how small they are. Yeah. Dang. I'd be hitting my knee on the steering column. Yeah, that'd be me too. The only but, thing I hey, brother. Is how are you? Just admiring your brother's truck. Now, is this one yours? Yeah. So you've got both of these? Yeah. Awesome. This is my buddy Colin. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Josh. Nice Josh. to meet you. Josh has one of the coolest uh, Ford XLs you'll ever see in your life. But this is your truck too. Yeah. So tell me about your truck, bro. This Josh. is Flathead. It's 52 F1. That's 239 Flathead. That's my habit. Put it that way. <laughs> I can't get to do nothing but miss, but it's, it's a pile of fun to work on. Me and Dad pulled the motor out and changed it a while back. Uh -huh. Just trying to get it situated. Okay. Still six volt, positive ground. Wow. Yeah, that would drive me nuts. <laughs> it's it's <laughs> unique. <laughs> so I've got a shirt on the website that you need. Okay. You need. It says patina because I'm too cool for paint. <laughs> yep, I need right? That. Yep, I need awesome. that. Uh, that would work perfect for this truck. It's a gorgeous truck. I love it. I, I love the finish on it. Yeah, that's I'm cool. Clear it. Clear cut it. Yeah. Put my company logo on the doors antique clock. Oh, yeah. That's, that's, like that'd it. be yeah, perfect. Yeah, that'd be great. That'd be great. Right now, it's open headers. It's loud. Is it oh, well, that's, <laughs> that's the only way to be, right? Uh, that's that's American. American. sticker the other day said, uh, how is it in San Diego? Uh, yes, it's cool, and no, I ain't going to paint it. Yeah, <laughs> I love that sticker. I love that sticker. No, we saw it on. I was washing the other two, yeah. and I said, Josh, you going to wash that truck? He said, yeah, and he went and got the leaf blower. It's authentic because he Done. lost his uh, gas cap. Yeah, I like the, the, the gas cap. So a little, has a little bit of a wicking uh, a process right. there. But, right. Right. I just right. Right. <laughs> That's farm truck. It's fine. It's, you know what? <laughs> that is awesome. That's awesome. So that's the toolbox in the, in the Pepsi. Oh, that's great. That's great. No, that's super cool. There you go. So, Colin, check out his XL. So, this is one of the coolest Fords ever. 390. I mean, is that not awesome? No, that's cool. I love, I mean, it's the original, original paint, right? Yes. Original bottle of caps, everything about it's original. That's yeah. Cool. Now, when, when I saw you for the first time here last year, you had just gotten this car, right? That's so great. I mean, it's just a cool car. Everything about it is cool. Yeah, they're cool. You won't find another one. The no, no. You don't see these ever. I mean, the original Wild Hog, which it needs to be replaced, but I just can't do it. I mean, I just can't do it. It's it's great. As long as it's not like rusting like crazy underneath that There's vinyl. There's spots it is, but I just, yeah. you know, the interior is what's amazing. I mean, that interior, open, open the door and touch the seats in. I mean, they're soft. The doors. And this was one of the few that oh, came wow. standard with the baby seat. Yes. Right? <laughs> yes. That's a factory equipped. Oddly enough, 55,000 of these were made in 68. Okay. 50, almost 51,000 had bucket seats. This was one of the rare ones with the. That's so the weird. Wow. That's strange that they'd have. And I would expect this car to have the beans. Yeah. XLs were supposed to have buckets. Right. I mean, that's what I had cons I guess because it's fancy. Yeah. XL was top of the line in 68. Wow. It was XL, cool. then the LTD, and then you got the Galaxy. That's cool. right. Oh, that's Gorgeous. Cool. That's funny. I've never seen them. It's your seat belts. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Which I've never nice. used them. Used them. I'm well cool. with you, but... Man, I don't even know how it comes out. <laughs> that's As cool it has them, though. Used to, right? <laughs> <We should laughs> that's cool it has them, though. It's got yeah. flat belts everywhere. Wow. And, and then the, pop these vents out, it's got tracks. 
Oh, that's it's cool. Just awesome. Like how El Camino's and stuff yeah. did back in it, that's cool. Looking Z28. I love these 70s Z28s. Okay, so we got Bel Air here. Is that 53 or 4? 54, I think. 54? Ah, we made it, didn't we? Good to see you, brother. Have you watched that uh, video from your cruise in yet? The Over there at Walmart. Is that the Wagner? Is that right? It's on there. It's the most recent one. Just posted a couple days ago. All right, sounds good. Love your car, buddy. Isn't that cool? That is cool. I dig these. They changed so much from 54 to 55, didn't they? Yeah, they did. It's for sale. 125,000, no, $1,250. <laughs> <That's> $12.50. <laughs> 125 bucks. 12,500. That's saw, a great car. I see 125 bucks. That's what I see. That's a great car. I love that grill. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 12,500. Boss Good looking Mustang. Boss 302. All right, what year is this one, brother? It's a Disco Nova. That's what it is. So 70. Really I think 77. Seven? Yeah, 70. 76 or 7. Five, six, seven, right? Those are all this, yeah. this generation. Very cool. You don't see many of them now. No. Good I looking C10. 70. Four wheel drive. 70 or 71. Nice. Fifty-two Chevy. 52 Chevy. Wow. I don't know if I've ever seen one before. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Fifty-two Chevy. That's cool. All right. Got it. Very nice. There you go, sir. Check out the YouTube channel. We'll have you on there. Thank you. Very cool car. Oh. Yeah. That's cool. That's a lot of fun. Good looking car. It's a good looking ride right here. I love those wheels. Isn't that awesome? Good looking forward. Love the huge running boards on these. That's nice. Very cool. I don't know if I've ever seen those wheels before. I think those are the bottom of the salt flat wheels. I think is what those are. Okay. Hey, folks. At the, Look in the, oh, the Tiger truck. 78. Look in the bed. 77, 8, and 9. There's a little, maybe a little fun thing in the bed. A fun thing. Oh, yeah. oh wow. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> this truck is great. <laughs> Had to be done. I know. I was like, Dad jokes for the win. <laughs> That's awesome, buddy. What we got in here? Five fourteen. Oh mercy! All right. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. That's a beast right there. Nice. Love it. Love it, love it. 
bet this would throw some mud. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'd like to see that. <laughs> That's awesome, brother. Thank you. Thank you. Good to see you. To this ranger, wrangler, I mean. Um, There's a duck or two. Love the flag. <laughs> hey, how are you? A couple of wranglers here. Nice. No, no. Oh, wow. That's cool. That's cool. We'll get back around to that one. Good looking Mustang, Cobra engine. So I would love to have this engine to put in like a 66, 67 fast fastback. Fastback car. Yeah. You know, wouldn't that? Yeah. With a six feet behind it. And... Check out this Roadrunner. Was it 73, four? I have to refer, refer to you. I am not, I'm not the Mopar connoisseur I should be, but. Plate says 74. Okay, awesome. Check out these wheels. The spoke wheels, 74 Plymouth Roadrunner. Nice. Neat, neat. I don't see a lot of 74s. No. Um, you know, we you know, see, we see, you know, the 69s and 70 Roadrunners a lot, but. Well, and as a rule of thumb, you don't really see a lot of late 70s Mopars in general. Right. That 73, 4, 5, anything. Right. Somebody sounds good. Does that not know me? Ah. Hope he comes through this way, but he's probably going to circle right around the leaf. Yep, he's gone. I like that car. I need his hood. He should have told me it was. I told him, wow, it's your car. It's clean yeah. and fixed up. <laughs> so we're actually like. We got a couple it. of early leavers here. Sorry we missed you guys. My two We almost cars. made it to you. They're my two favorite cars here. I oh, know. Figures. <laughs> I know that looks 71 like mine, El Camino. Oh. <laughs> Excuse us. See how this cool truck. Very cool truck. Panels are super cool. Yeah. That's awesome. There's a good looking Chevy. 56. Yep. Very nice. Very nice. Very cool. Hey, how are you guys? Good. Loving this GTX. 68. We saw this at Poplar. Okay. It's on our video from Poplar. Yeah. Us from the mountains? Yes, sir. Got you. Got your card right on my desk. I watch them. Awesome. Yeah. I love the slotted aluminum wheels. Yeah. You don't see that no more. No, I've got I've got those almost exact same wheels on my 72 Mach 1. Yeah, good looking car. Got the traction bars, love the way it sits. Yeah. Good nice. good car, brother. Yeah. Cool. Take care. It belongs to that guy. Ah, is this yours? Yeah. Alright, so you guys are switched here. Yeah. Oh, that guy back there. I got you. Okay. Love the 56. That's yeah. beautiful. Did you have yeah. this car at Irwin last year? I think that was the first place I saw it. Yep. That's the first yeah. time I saw this car. Love it. And I saw you at Poplar a couple weeks ago. Yeah, dragsters and stuff. Yeah. Good looking yeah. stuff. It's a 66 cool. <laughs> Caprice. Awesome. That's oh, a really cool car. Thank you. Cool pickup. Yeah. The Jeep pickup yeah. going on. That's nice. <laughs> That's my social media. 67 Galaxy 500. The YouTube and Instagram stuff. Very cool. I do more hot rod 
more I need more hot like, builds and race car stuff, like drag racing and stuff like that. Is what I need more of. There. But hey, buddy, how are you? Talking to you. Gorgeous. You too. I forgot those wheels. Mercy. This. There you go. I need to pay him to chase us in videos. <laughs> right, that would be great. Oh, that would be great. Okay, so we Sorry. may have audio for these cars and we may not. So there might just be um, there might just be some music set to this. But if I can cover up the music that's playing with my own music, then uh, then we'll talk over these. I don't see too many of these anymore. No. I remember when these came out. They were really, really quite a stir. Come on. 400. Pontiac. Let's see. What uh, What's our grill telling us here? Uh, don't know. So what year is this Pontiac Le Mans? 66, 7, 5. What year? What year? Seven. Seven, okay. Seven. That was my first thought. So this grill, is that a Le Mans thing for 67? Because totally different from the GTO 67 grill. Right. Right, so but they had a different grill than the GTO is what you're saying. Gotcha. That's cool. Awesome. So Le Mans had the, the fins on the side. Oh, you're fine. You got Kragers going on. Great little cruiser. So I've vid I've videoed this car before. Maybe? Yeah. Um, was it Erwin Autorama? Was that where you last last year? Yeah. I think that was the first first time I saw it. Beautiful car. So 400 four barrel. Nice. Yeah. Muscle in the mountains. Yep. Gorgeous car. Yeah. Myers. W buggy. Cool. Looks like about a 50 Chevy pickup. Gorgeous truck. Look nice at this. Small block. Wow. I assume it's the 350 car. Oh, he has a Z CVF. That's cool. That's nice. The That's one honking grill on these guys, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow, That's yeah. a CVF. Uh, mm -hmm. That's a serious system. belt right there. Yeah, those are really Serpentine nice. Serpentine belt set up. Massive. Awesome. Really cool. And another Chevy pickup. Very cool. The white walls going on. Full 38, that's cool. Real low Silverado square body. I need to steal his grill from my truck. <laughs> that's the one I like. Now, that is an cool. old 442 from the 80s? Yep. 87, 85, yeah. something? 87, I got it the first try. Awesome. Gorgeous car. Makes me, makes me want to do NASCAR stuff. Right? <laughs> I like to see them rolling. That's such a cute little car. That's, That's a pretty a truck. Car. SS Camaro. So, yeah. Very cool. You need a Camaro? Check out this little Ford. That's cool. Six wow. Eight, nine? Um, 
I'm going earlier. Earlier? 67? That's pretty wild. What year is this car? 66. Six. Six. Okay. That's awesome. That Don't see too many of these. No. At all. Yeah. Good looking Falcon. Check out the YouTube channel, bro. We'll have you on there. 66 Falcon. A little two-door coupe. Yeah. Those are clean. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Cool pickup. Ooh, it's straight. Full straight six. <laughs> Texas farm truck. Now here's Cap America. There that's you go. <laughs> Mojave. That's a massive Jeep right there. Yeah, that's you a got big the Jeep bed radiator. and the four door. Wow. Beast. Roush Mustang. Great driver. Yes, sir. That'll get it right there. Good Boy. looking Ford pickup. Late 60s, early 70s. Is that an FD? 352. So this is probably what, 67? Yeah. That's such, that's such a random number. 208 horse car. <laughs> right? <laughs> that's awesome. Good looking pickup. Good looking Corvette. Another great driver. Yeah. This car, that Roush, and even this Camaro, like if you want to like a daily driver kind of right. car that you want to go have fun with uh, autocross, oh, hard I bet. to beat him. So this is my buddy Steve's car. We talked to him over there. Okay. Uh, he's the one that got his wife a similar car. Similar car. Or that's his wife faster. got a similar car. <laughs> so this is the 30th anniversary. Check out that uh, hound's that's tooth cool. going on in there. Six speed. Super nostalgia looking. Yeah. yeah. It's a cool ride. Good looking Z28. Now there's one of those Chevy spaceships. <laughs> yeah. Came from Mars. Right? That's one crazy Corvette right there. Yeah, it's awesome. So that's Brand Hammer New mid engine C8. Wow. I got to drive one of these, it was pretty cool. Oh, I bet. I yeah. bet they are. That's awesome. Now, whose is the orange one? It's kind of mine, I rented it. Okay. I like doing this. Oh, yeah. That is crazy. But I'm kind of a mid engine guy. I want right. to get an engine in the back. That's cool, Steve. Very cool ride. I like the color on this thing. Yeah. I loud. drove one of it's, one of these at the dealership that I worked at, and it's, it's a, weird when you're hearing the engine behind you. Right, it's weird when you first do it, and then. So this is this is pumpkin spice Corvette. It's, <laughs> it's perfect for fall. <laughs> right. GT500. Love these. So the now, for a Mustang, on it, these that, things are incredible. So the badge on the side. Yeah. Is that the horsepower that it puts out? Probably. Okay. Well. It might be. Yeah, I would say so. That sounds about right. That sounds about right. Because this is a Coyote motor, or is this? I don't know. Okay. I don't know the newer ones well enough to... Okay. But it's an SDT. Yeah. Cool. It's a beast. No, those are fun. That right there. I... He likes so, driving it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he does. So which one's going to which one's gonna win? Mustang well, over the Corvette? Wait. What are we talking about? Are we talking speed, about? just the speed. Yeah. That one's faster than that one. Yeah, that's what I thought. That one's gonna out corner it in every oh, yeah. in every way, but this one will outrun it. Right. Just don't turn too quick. Yeah, just don't turn too quick. <laughs> it's good looking. That's cool. Impala. I like What's it. a '64? I think so. Five, I like four, five. He's got ram horns on it, which is cool. The exhaust manifold. That's a ram horn. Oh yeah. Really cool. This is Beetlejuice. So That's what awesome. happens if you say it three times? He eats a local fork. <laughs> yeah, that is massive. That's awesome. Wow, how cool is that? So what year is this thing? 69. Love the, love the front clip going on here. Oh, big small one. 
406 small block. That's cool. <laughs> Every beetle should have 750 horsepower, right? Naturally. And side pipes even. That's cool. Open awesome. header side pipes. That's awesome. That's sweet. Got a parachute too. Yep, parachute. Wow, that's awesome. Sounding good. Sounding good. Another beetle here. Cool. And the Miata. All right, check out this 57. Very cool. All right, what we got going on here, Colin? Check this out. Oh, that's cool. That's an old school. Isn't that sweet? Yeah. Awesome. Love the interior on this, dude. Got the white walls going. Get the horns. Yeah, that's awesome. Yes. See that? That's cool. Looking good. Once again, the the dashes, the yeah. the instrument panels, the, everything in the '50s was just so much better. I mean, even look at the little door handle. How it has a little slits in oh, it. Wow. The way I mean, it's yeah. it has a little yeah details. Yep. And so this one's got the the skirts on the. It does. Well, well. I don't see that much back when car manufacturers actually cared. <laughs> right. SS Camaro here, very cool. LS3. Heck yeah. That's a beast, isn't it? Yeah, that'll be a fun little car. All right, so we got a Co Coyote Mustang. Check out this engine. That's cool. Dang. That's pretty awesome right there. I, being, being a Chevy guy, I will admit that 5.0 Coyote motors are really fun to drive. They are. Rolling at the right. 8500, there's really not much else you can compare that to. Right. So Challenger RT with the Hemi. Nice. OBS. Very cool. Yep. Chevy pickup. My dad used to have one almost just like this, but it's dark blue. Did he? That's cool. I like this. Cool Ford. Check this out. <laughs> Not expecting this. A Triton motor. Nice. Don't make me change the spark plugs on that. <laughs> I bet. LS1. So this is a, what, 98? 99. Yeah. 789, yeah. No, these are cool. Yeah. I remember when these came out, you know, the earlier one, like in, what, 93? Was that the yeah. first of this? Yeah. Play style? The, the catfish is what they call it, right? Okay. This is the catfish. I don't know exactly, don't quote me on it, but right. I know they talked about these being the catfish Camaros. I know my buddy had one almost just like this, and it was crazy fast. And six speed and everything. Well, and it was a big deal when those came out, and even these, when, they, when these Mustangs came out, when the yeah. actual like, V8s made a little bit of power, because before that, you had the IROX that ran, what, 1480s, 15 second passes? Right. The hot rod ones, quote unquote. Yeah. So when these came out running 13s, I mean, that was a big deal. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty cool Mustang. That is cool. Good looking square body. I dig it. Yeah, that's cool. Be a great driver truck. So I just recorded an outro and it was awesome and it, the camera wasn't even It was recording. very candid so, responses. Yeah. It, was, it was funny. It was and... awesome. It was great. So, hey, if you've enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Leave us a comment. We love to hear from you. And hey, guys, we've had a great time hanging out with Colin and his wife, Abby. 
And uh, so be sure you go and subscribe to The Daily Misfire. Check out some of his videos. Great, great stuff. Really cool stuff. And he's going to be doing Drag Week coming up. So you're going to want to see those videos. Really good stuff. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah. Thank you guys yeah. so much. Click into this video right here. We'll see you on the next one. Peace. Great. Awesome. That was great. I hope I got your piece in there, but I might have clicked it too early. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I don't think I got any of that. His favorite. Is, <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, let's try that again. It's not going to be nearly as funny, and that sucks because this isn't anywhere. And now I'm recording up, what I'm man? saying right now. <laughs>